was talking about, you know, making all these plans for the future and everything else. We're going to do this. We're going to do that tomorrow. And, and we're going to do your buy, sell. We're going to get game. We're going to do all these great things and kind of living in the future when he's saying you don't even know what's going to happen tomorrow. Now, this isn't against making goals in general. But this is talking about, you know, this is, is making a very good point that we don't know what a day is going to bring. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. We need to make sure we're doing things now. The Bible illustrates to us here, what is your life? It is even a vapor. What is a vapor? You see a little bit of, you know, you're cooking some, boiling some water. You can see some water vapor coming up and it just dissipates. It disappears real fast. You get to see it for an instant and then it's gone. And the Bible is illustrating that's what our life is like. You know, whether you live 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50, 70, 100. Overall, it's still really not that much time. Even if you live a full life, a full age that, that would be considered really old, like 100 years old, that's still only a very short time. Now, our time is a very precious commodity. And the older you get, the more you realize that. All the people who have, have been around longer and longer, time seems to get shorter and shorter and shorter and things happen faster and faster. And I already see heads nodding up and down because it's a truth. It is something that is very true. It's a fact. And what I would love to do, and I think what everybody that starts getting to the point of, of realization just through just naturally come to this realization, what you'd like to be able to do is impress this upon people who are younger. To take your time seriously and really understand. And even if you can't quite understand it and you feel like you have all the time in the world to do things, take some wisdom from people who are older than you. Because this is a truth. Whether you feel it or not, whether you understand it or not, time flies by really fast. And the choices that you make on how you choose to use your time are, good, are very important. You don't want to end up at the end of your life. You think, oh, that's just so far away. Well, you know what? It could be tomorrow, first of all. And that's what the Bible is saying right here. You, you don't, don't make these plans. Well, I'm going to live for God, you know, especially when you're younger. I'm going to live for God when I'm an adult, when I'm older, when I'm in my 20s or in my 30s, and then, then I'll choose to live for God. Well, you know what? You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. What if you were to die tomorrow? Are you going to be able to look at the things that you've done and say, I didn't waste my life. I didn't waste my time. I didn't waste opportunities. I didn't, you know, I, I, was, I was still working out. If, you're, if you happen to, God forbid, you're younger and you happen to die, Right? Obviously, you're not going to have all of the opportunities that people who live long are going to have. But what did you do with your opportunity? What did you do with your time? This is what we need to be able to ask ourselves and, and keep in mind and keep conscious of. And don't just think that you're going to have all of the time to do all of these great things. You might not, which is why you need to focus on getting them done now and using your time wisely.